Hey everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to extract all your followers from Instagram quick and easy without any programming knowledge or additional tools, just your browser and some patience. So I'll use my Instagram page as an example playground. First of all, why would you need it? Maybe you want to get a list of all the people you're following and check if they're following you back. But how would you do that if you have thousands of followers? Here's my profile and you can see that I have about 3000 followers and 500 followings. You can preview that list by clicking on this counter and small window opens. If we scroll it down, you can see it's dynamically preloading even more users. And this is what makes scraping them manually really hard. You will have to copy all them one by one, scroll down a bit and continue doing that till you reach end of the list. I feel it would take hours of exhausting manual labor. Of course, doing this manually is out of the question. It would take just way too much time and effort. We need to get them in a machine-readable format so we can process them using some script. Unfortunately, Instagram doesn't provide any public API to do that the easy way. But today I will show you how we can leverage Instagram internal APIs to get all the followers. Luckily, we are smart enough to automate this process even more. All you need is Google Chrome browser and any text editor like Notepad. I will use VS Code, so we can benefit from some additional perks like syntax highlighting. But for this tutorial it's not mandatory. Notepad will do just fine. So first step is to open our Instagram profile in Google Chrome browser and press Ctrl Shift I to open DevTools. I know it may look intimidating, especially if it's your first time opening this console, but let me show you around real quick. We want to go to the Network tab to monitor all the requests Instagram app is sending to the server. Here we already can see some, but uh, what we're looking for is a specific type of request which is fetching data from that followers window I showed you before. I'm sorry that I have to blur out some IDs and security tokens in this DevTools console. It's for my own safety and you also should never share this confidential information with anyone. It may be enough to take over your account and you don't want that. So to initiate this particular request we can open followers window one more time. But before we do that I would recommend you clicking this button in the top left corner to switch to a mobile view of Instagram. Now why would you do that? Well this way Instagram UI will change a little and it will prefetch even more users for the followers list. Just a small tip how to simplify our job. Another tip is to click this button to clear all requests we tracked so far, so we can see only most recent ones. Ok, now I will open the list and let's see if there are any useful requests are coming. Here's the request we're looking for. It has followers keyword in the URL and query parameter count equals 12. If we click this request and take a look at the response tab right here, we can see some usernames in a JSON format. JSON is a special data interchange format used by most web applications. No need to go deep into details right now, just keep in mind this is the request we are looking for. Ok, now if we right click on the request we have a couple options we can do with it. We need to go copy and copy as fetch. What this does, it copies the request in a script format with all the necessary headers and parameters so we can replicate it using JavaScript. Let's switch to console tab, clear anything we have here and press Ctrl V to paste fetch code we have in the clipboard. Now, this is the JavaScript code for the request to get some of the followers. But not all of them, as I mentioned before, Instagram is fetching only a portion of followers at a time. We need to modify this code a little so we can fetch all the followers. I will open my VS code, but you can go with Notepad or even type code directly in the Chrome console. Now let's fix our fetch request. Just follow what I'm doing and you should be all good. First we declare a new list variable and set it to an empty array. This is where we'll store all users we get from the Instagram API. Then I declare one more variable to store reference to a request function, because we're planning to call it several times. Now I wrap whole fetch function and assign it to the variable I've just created. This function will be asynchronous, that's why I'm adding an explicit async keyword at the beginning. And it will take a max ID parameter as well. This parameter is a cursor for getting next page of the users from Instagram. We get it in each response if there are more users to fetch. If this parameter is not in the response, then we have reached the end and we can exit. Now let's build a request URL. I take this part 
and request to hunt users instead of 12. I think this is the maximum amount we can get at once. And if max ID was passed, we add it as additional query parameter. Here we await for the fetch result and assign it to the rest variable. At this moment code execution will halt and wait until request completes. After that we will wait one more time to convert response to a JSON object. This is necessary because it's easier to work with JSON objects in JavaScript. Next, we can address fields of that object using dot notation. We'll go over each of the users in the response and push its username to the list. Now we must check if we received next max ID in the response. If we did, it means there are even more users to request, and we must call our function one more time, but with new max ID parameter this time. This is what we do right now is called recursion. When the function is calling itself over and over again to perform even more operations on the result of the current iteration. I will add a console log statement here so we can see in the log every time we're calling this function with a new max ID parameter. This is very useful for debugging the function because requests take time and we need to be aware of what our script is doing. We need to call our function for the first time to initiate the process. I'll call it with 0 as a max ID parameter to start getting followers from the first page. See that I have added a wait keyword in the beginning. Script execution will halt here and wait until whole sequence of requests is complete. After that it will proceed to the next function. And here we can print all the user IDs we have gathered like that. Ok, but this is not all. We need to get them in a machine readable format to simplify our job. We will convert it to JavaScript eventually, and each item of JavaScript array must be wrapped in quotes. Let's do that. I will go over each item of our list and wrap it in double quotes. Now we can join them with commas and print them out for us to consume. Very important thing to change is to include credentials right here. I'm not sure why it copies fetch with omit, but it won't work if you keep it like that. Ok, let's run our script. Now we must wait through while it fetches all the pages till the end. The more followers you have, the longer it will take. I'm not sure if it will even work if you have more than I do. I know Instagram has some protection against request spamming and this might be the case when you can get a temporary ban. If it really happens, just wait it out and limit the amount of requests you're sending at once. Save the cursor you stopped at and then wait a little more before sending the next batch. I don't think there is another way around. Ok, here's our list with all the followers we have. Sorry that I had to blur them out, I don't want to expose their usernames for obvious reasons. Now just select all these and copy them over to a safer place, some text file for example. Next step is to get all the followings. Luckily for us, it's very easy to do using the same script we've just written. Just go to the URL part and replace followers with following. And we can run it again. Here's the list of users I'm following. Also select them and copy to a different text file. Now we need to compare these two lists to find users which are not following us back. Let's create a new script and declare new variable followers. Enclose it in square brackets like an empty array and copy all quote wrapped usernames we said before in between these brackets. Here's the first list, now for the second one. We call it followings and copy paste our second list we gathered from the modified script. All we have left to do is to compare these lists and record those usernames which are in the followings but not in the followers list. I declare a new variable called not following, initialized with an empty array and let's go over all the people we follow. In this function we take id of a user and check if it's in the followers list. If index is less than 0, then that user is not in the list, and we can record it as someone who is not following us. And in the end we just print this list by joining it with commas. Let's copy this bunch of code and go back to the Google Chrome Dev Console. Press Ctrl V to paste it in and enter to run it. 
here's our result, all the users who are not following you. Now keep in mind that Instagram is frequently changing its parameters and APIs, so this code I've just showed you may not work after some time and will require some modifications to work again. If you have any issues with that, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. So have a nice day and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful.